Hello everybody, my name is Jarrett Roski and I am starting a new YouTube channel where I'm actually going to give you brief, like, sermon, Bible bites, what I'm calling it. Where I'm going to give a short little passage of the Bible and I'm going to talk about it. Now, what I want to do with this channel is I want it to be completely, uh, viewer created. Like, I want you to leave your comments about what you want to know about. It doesn't even have to be a Bible verse. It can just be, I want to know more about Saul. I want to know more about Paul. <laughs> I want to know more about video games. What kind of video games can I play? All of these would be great to know about. And for my daily Bible bites that I'm going to be presenting. I'm going to try to keep these short. I'm not sure exactly the average length of them yet. I'm going to get into that. But it's going to just be a like a little like mini sermon, like devotionals for you throughout the day. I'm going to try to upload these every single day. So I can just spread the word and teach you about God a little bit more. Um, first of all, I need to... I lost my train of thought. There you go. But I'm going to need more of a fan base to do this, obviously. And as I get more of a fan base, I'll upgrade the webcam <laughs> to where it's actually good quality. But as of now, this is trial period, so I haven't done that yet. But... If you would be so kind of you and subscribe to my channel so I can get more views because if I get start averaging over a hundred views I'll probably go and get myself a nice HD webcam or I will put nice slides with notes of my sermonette in the um, video but just a reminder please don't feel free or feel, please feel free to comment on my videos I will greatly appreciate it and it will really help me to know what you want me to talk about. It's just going to be my way of knowing what you need and helping you. Because I am a local minister. So I want to help the community. Help through the YouTube community, social network. So please help me as I was reporting to that. Today I'm just going to give a really short one, just like an introductory Bible bite, but it's going to be from a familiar passage of Psalms chapter 23. In it, I will read the first verse to start with. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. This is coming from the NIV 2008, 1984 edition. But... Um, also, if there's a certain Bible version you'd prefer me to use, just comment that as well. Um, but, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. People wonder at in this passage, because it's saying, the Lord is my shepherd. That's simple enough, but I shall not be in want. What does this exactly mean? People are saying, yeah, I think the Lord's my shepherd, but, but I, I don't have all my wants fulfilled. There's... So much that you could desire. I want this new TV. I want this new game system. I want all these books. I want this house, this car. All these material possessions that you want. Even not material possessions. I want more friends. I, yes. I want a son. I want a daughter. All these are classified as wants. But the passage here isn't talking about people's wants in a sense. I know it does say that, but look closely. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. Um, this is talking about a shepherd. So, what is a shepherd? A shepherd is somebody who watches over sheep. Okay? He'll guide them. He'll make sure they're safe. He'll do everything. He'll stay with them all the time. But does a shepherd stay over people? Not, not really. A shepherd is a shepherd over sheep. Which would mean, if we're calling the Lord our shepherd, that means we are calling ourselves his sheep. So, and if God, if we are God's sheep, do, do sheep want the newest TV? Do sheep want the newest car? Do sheep really care about those things? No, they don't. Sheep, what do they want? Sheep want uh, food, right? They want food, they want to be fed, they want to live, they want shelter. Right? They'll want shelter, and they will want protection. Is that, am I right? Is that not right? 
please post in the comments what you think she could need. But let's take a look at this and see if this verse talks about all three of those things. First of all, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. That's, we got that. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. To me, that that looks like... Actually, kind of looks like shelter and food to me. Because the pastures, that's where they eat. The still waters where they drink, that's also where sheep like to live. What sheep would not want to live near the still waters and near the green pastures? That's like the perfect place for a sheep. So God is telling us that he is our shepherd. He will put us in the perfect place for us. Let's look, for, look farther. It says, he guides me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's cool. Um, but it's talking about protection, the other need for a sheep. So it's all three here. It says, the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That's, so what more protection do you need from somebody? Your shepherd is going to protect you from the biggest, baddest wolf you'll ever meet, which is the devil. And if you are his sheep, if you do completely devote your life to him with only those three needs, he will make sure that you are protected. <sighs> I think I'm going to make myself cry. <laughs> but uh, that's, it's just, that's a touching thing to me. Um, but then it just it goes on to even talk more about that. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Then you anoint my head with oil. My cup over flow. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Um, this is an awesome passage, okay? I love this so much. But, um, if you don't want to be his shepherd, or you don't want to be God's sheep, or you aren't, I guess is it, you're not going to experience this, this goodness and mercy following you all the days of life. Yeah, you want, you can be saved. You can be saved and not be one of his sheep necessarily. Being a sheep, wanting his desires is more of a second step, more of a step of sanctification over a step of just being saved and trusting him as your Lord. This is going the next step of saying you're his sheep. You are putting him entirely in control of your life. I mean, that's just my little Bible bag for the day. That's what I think. If you like this, I have been planning on starting to do this every single day. If you don't like this, I don't know. Just post in the comments. <laughs> um, also, any recommendations from yourself? Things that you liked and you want me to do again? Things that you didn't like and want me to change? Please, just feel free to post it. I'm going to read the comments. I'll try to reply to your comments. I just want to make sure that this is the best experience for everybody. So, please, I I really want to make this a good channel. And I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for fans or followers. I'm doing this because I feel like it's good. God likes people who honor him and who glorify him in everything they do. I have been trying to fulfill that, and I feel that this is one good way to talk about God over the social media. Um, thank you for your attention, and please subscribe. <laughs> um, have a good day, everybody. See you tomorrow.